What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. Hey, folks, thank you for uh, listening, and uh, you know who this is, and I'm back to give you guys another video. I'm going to talk about the, the big deal out in Las Vegas where the guy took, uh, one guy went and took out 58 people that we know of so far and injured over 500. And I'm going to correlate this to how the, well, we'll look at the main, main you'll see what I'm talking about. Like, the Democrats are now making a big gun grab. And they always do this over whenever there's a, whenever there's a shooting going on. They want to make a, a big gun grab, and they want to uh, grab our weapons from us. And their they, their excuse is, "Why do you need automatic? Why do you need this, that, and the fifth? Now, this is the type of person who cannot be the person that did this uh, atrocious incident. This is the person that can't be accounted for. He was a millionaire. He was a high stakes roller. Nobody knows what set him off. I mean, people could probably take guesses, but you couldn't. You, there is nothing that would say, "Hey, this is definitive. He was. He's going to be a psychopath." None of his friends came out. I mean, yeah, his dad may have been an infamous, you know, as far as being on the ten most wanted before for being a bank robber, but that had nothing to do with him and his brothers. His brother is a normal guy from from what I see. And then from the guy here too, he may he may have a little bit of a gambling problem, but still the guy's a millionaire. So he it's not a gambling problem to him because the money he's gambling away, he probably makes more back somewhere else. But all of a sudden now, if you want you know, I mean the way he unmodified the weapons, I know how he modified. Them. If you if you're a gun collector or if you fire the ammunitions, you know how you mod you can you can modify. It the uh, AR to where it shoots both ways. And that's what he did. If you look at what he did, I mean, it's, 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 it only takes like a couple minutes to do that. It's not hard to do. But uh, you can, I mean, and if you really, if you really, the gun masters can do it in their own shop. So limiting the number of um, people that can do this, you're, you're not going to do anything because guys can modify this. Stuff. You can do modify that at home. But back to my lecture in hand, I want to talk about how these Democrats are all of a sudden now want to make a, a big gun grab. The big thing is, why do you need all these weapons? It's better to have and not need than the better to need and not have. And the, and the Democrats fail to, fail to recognize this premise. Every Democratic-controlled city has a fucked-up gun rate. Everyone. I'm not talking about murder rate. That's that's another statistic on itself. I'm talking about guns. Every every uh, democratically controlled city has a fucked up gun rate. You can go from uh, Boston. You can go to Philly, New York. That's obviously Jersey, Pittsburgh, Cleveland, uh, Cincinnati, Detroit, Chicago, Miami. You know, Louisville's starting to act up a little here and there. I mean, you got to, got to Los Angeles. Go to Seattle with well, another commie, so that's a little different story. But you get the principle. Houston, Dallas, New Orleans, Shreveport. I mean, St. Louis, KC. And the list goes on and on. A lot of these democratically controlled cities have high gun rates. Now, I got, listen to what I'm saying, people. I'm saying gun rates because there are, there's a lot of shootings. There are shootings that you don't even know that go on in your city that don't even make the news. The only shootings that make the news are the ones that are like stuff like this, stuff somewhere where something, somebody does real stupid like at a football game with the little kids or at a school or, you know, somebody or they robbed a pizza man and he gets killed and injured or something like that. They're, they're not talking about all the shootings actual shootings where people were shooting at each other and nobody gets hit by a house or a car. But they don't say nothing about that in their own cities. And then, here's how much of these hypocritical bastards are. Why do you need, here's what they say, why do you need all these weapons? And then they want to fund Planned Parenthood. 
That's my that's the that's the problem I have. And that's why this meme is perfect because it says sorry I don't look I don't listen to anti gun lectures for people who think it's okay to kill a baby. You're worried about violence, you're about murders. And yes, that's a shame. We we look look Republicans, Democrats, NRA and non gun owners alike can admit that that was a problem and that was an issue. But at the same time, don't come to me all all high brow whenever you're funding Planned Parenthood across the country that'll kill more babies than anything. Why don't you, and, and another thing, you're being unrealistic about, you think if we don't have any more weapons, the criminals, the, the criminals are just going to go away? Where are you guys living at? It's easy to get guns more than it is to get drugs now. That's how bad it is in America. But I protect. I want to protect the, the citizen, the everyday citizens' right to use those guns. Look, I live. I, I live in Ohio. I've been living here for the last, I would say, fifteen years or so at least. And uh, Ohio is starting to adopt the Texas style as far as gun uh, mentality. Like, well, you know how Texas has like the, the like down there crime has dropped since uh. They do the concealed and all that stuff down there. That's how it's becoming over here. You want to know why? People are less likely to roll up on you if they think you got a burner on you and it's a legal one because in, in Texas, there's they're they're a little liberal. I mean, we're not as liberal as them as far as popping a motherfucker, but Texas is real liberal about you know shooting somebody and stand your ground and all that. We're not that liberal yet. We're getting to that point because people are sick of all this crime. But let me put it this way: If you pop, if you pop, if you shot somebody who was trying to rob you, there'll be little sympathy for the guy who got shot. Let me put it to you that way: I doubt the DA would take that to trial unless you pulled, unless he was outside. Look, I talked to cops before, and the only like, and I asked him about it. I said, I said "Look, I said, what's what comes to my house? And, you know, they, you know, they, they do something like to me." Well, he said, "Well, what, 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 the cop was like, well." What scenario else is there? I said, I said okay. Say he's leaving and he's outside my house. And say, I, say I pick him off. The cop was like, well, you can't do that because he was trying to flee. And, and he has his back to you. He said, it's a different scenario if maybe he was charging at you outside. But if this guy's trying to flee, you have to give him that right. And so you know what that told me? That told me, pick him off in the leg and drag him back in my house. It ain't no flight or flight here. If something happens, and, like, and I told him, like I told the cop, I said, I'm a human. I said, I may, you know, my adrenaline may get pumped up to the point where I'm going after dude. And he said he understands, but he said he's, he said he understands what I was saying. He goes, but he has to enforce the law, and I understood that, and I respect that. But back to this, these uh, Democrats and their little gun grabs here. And if you look at the, and if you look at the shooters, these shooters are registered Democrats. They're not NRA members. Of course, you may have some of that, you know, support the NRA, but they're never like NRA members. They're all they're all liberal Democrats. So let me let me put it this way: Once you take the guns off the Democrats, and you won't have any mass shootings. Or does that sound a little too much like you know, hey, too right to me? I mean, how's that sound when uh, uh so you get all these hypocrites that wanna? That want to tell you about well, guns kill. Well, dollar bills kill too. Whenever you're supporting Planned Parenthood, so I and, and, and like and I didn't volunteer to support Planned. At least with a gun, I have the option to either buy one or not to buy one. Planned Parenthood, my tax player, my, my tax money goes straight to that. So I don't believe a lot of this. I don't, I don't believe the Democrats are really sincere. And neither should you, because if they were really sincere, let me put it to you this way. If they were sincere about life, a lot of these cities we, in America will not have the high, like I said, I, I'm specifically talking about gun rates. I'm not talking about murder rates. I'm not talking about crime rates. I'm talking about gun rates in cities. And the people who know I'm talking about, too, especially living in a, if you live in a quote-unquote neglected area, you know the gun rate is high. But they won't talk about this in these cities. But yet they want to, you know, they want to, they want, they want to ban guns and assault weapons. Look, an assault weapon is just that. If somebody assaults you, they're gonna get a weapon. But I, I endorse everybody's right to bear arms. It's, 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 it's been a staple since. 
Why do you think, you think a lot of countries aren't attacking America? Joseph Stalin said it back in like during World War II. The only reason it didn't stop him from coming over here is the fact that he knew that every and brother had a gun. And which is true when you think about it. Even the criminals got guns, so even they would turn loyal and save their ass and defend the country. But that's all. This is all I want to talk about because uh, I I just think it's hypocritical myself that you want to talk, you want to ban guns and and then, and then take away from the taxpayers and we have no say so. When at the same time, you're taking my taxpayer dollars and you're putting it to Planned Parenthood. And then you guys act like you guys are, the Democrats are acting like they're really sincere. For this and many other videos, check out my page. I'm sure you'll like that from internationals to MGTOW. Check out my page. Out of focus.